Well, no excuse to not run today. I haven't been putting it off. I've seriously just been protecting my hands because no decent gloves. Yeah. I got to jog home last night and been, what, three days? Two days? Yeah. Well, yesterday you were worried because there was a bit of fog out and whatnot, so you were, like, running into folks. That was not yesterday. That was Wednesday. Because I didn't want to go to Right! Jail. It is not Thursday. So, that was Wednesday and uh, Tuesday. I wound up staying late. Did I stay late Monday, too? Yep. Monday and Tuesday, and then there was a bit of fog in the, around, because everything was, like, warming up and stuff. And I wound up just feeling... And I wound up just feeling really wonderful to jog. So... Yeah. And, yeah, Wednesday it was because we were having a shift in the weather. Yeah. So there was a lot more cold, but... It was one of those one of those mornings where we, I was going to, but I was like one of those times where you realize it's going to probably be freezing fog if it was the right time of night. Yeah. But it was evening when it happened, so so we have a new maintenance guy. Huh. It's the guy that was coming out of the yeah yeah. He seems a bit more friendly than the rest of them, but we could just call him Young Chipper on the job, trying to make a good impression with the residents, I guess. I don't know. Uh, here comes a cart. They don't even drive up this way. They only go up to that pool because that's where. That's where they have their meetings. That's where they have their meetings, yes. So, just a little, because most people are never going to come up and visit. The studios that are right here, these are, if you're a long time viewer, you know, these have been converted into studios. Um, I think the ones at the end, because these still look occupied right in here. Yeah. But I think the ones at the end have been turned into like day stays. Day or week, yeah. Well, they come they come as like a hotel. You pay by the pay night. night yeah. It's only a quarter mile from my apartment, it's still in the same complex. And you get like an amenities key and the 24 hour gym and the pool and whatnot. You know, I believe they come furnished. That would make sense. Yeah. But it's just a, your family's in town and you only live in a small little apartment like we do. It makes a lot of sense to use. Like your sister. Yeah. I think that's, that was what we were discussing, because that's the only person we know that would stay here for multiple days. Yeah. But then again, his parents, so she so always stays at his parents. But Yeah, because, well, yeah. they pay for room and board. But great. this is one of those things that if I have someone come visit and they are like on a business trip up here, we're right next to the Max line, so in fact, you guys are even closer. Everybody's running to the Max station today. Like... What's going on? I think they're probably late. Oh, get situated at the platform here. Oh, we're not actually any time different. It's 8.33. Well, that was interesting. You told him card swipe error and he didn't swipe a card. Well, he did. He swiped a digital card. Haptic card. There we go. Every once in a while you look at someone and you're just like, how do you text? By the way, the circular file yesterday on the news, I don't know the sentence, but it was, it was a walloping of a sentence. <laughs> It was similar to the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, except right. this was like twice as many words and all the words were at least 11 letters long or something like that. It was really, it was a really crazy thing. Um, it, it was for the Guinness Book of World Records. You have to type this sentence. And like one of the words is syzygy or something like that. It was like a completely grammatical sentence. And it was for texting and the kid in Brazil, who's like 14 or 15, uh, texted it out in 17 seconds. And, wow. and like DevNap was like, okay, so I'm two combines. <laughs> and the weatherman guy's like, 18, 19, 20. She goes, I'm only four words in. <laughs> You know, and they were amazed that, you know, English isn't his first language. Yeah. It might actually help. Because some of those words are not normal. Uh, yeah, let me set this here. See if my phone will whip it out here. See if I can. Uh, texting world record. Teen breaks his own Guinness Book of World Records. Ah, uh, he was using an iPhone 6 Plus. So he had a bigger keyboard. Yeah. 
what are mashable. Whether or not they're valid or not, they'll still give out the sentence, I hope. Yeah, they're valid. Yeah. The razor tooth piranhas of the genera Saracalmus um, and Pyrocent Pygocentris are the most ferocious freshwater fish in the world. In reality, they seldom attack a human. He texted that in 17 seconds. Wow. Yeah. I wonder if Swipe would get it done faster. Um, I would. Bl I didn't read the article. I was just looking for the sentence. He may or may not have used he swipe. He was on an iPhone. Oh, they don't have swipe. Only Google has swipe. Oh. Well, the HTC has HTC Sense. Yes. Uh, so I'm saying that other companies can have such a s s thing. Yes. Now find a Google uh, iPhone made by anyone but Apple. 16 years old. 25 word paragraph in 18.19 seconds on April 25th. Okay. 15 year old from Seattle texted the same paragraph in 18.44 seconds using Microsoft's newest Windows 8, Windows Phone 8.1 software. With WordFlow keyboard. WordFlow, is that? Probably predictive text. Gotcha. Since I was a child, I've always loved phones. You're because still a child. You're still a child. I'm like twice your age. <laughs> but anyways, so we have nothing majorly planned for this weekend. It's gonna be nice. We're gonna play WoW. Yes, we. I need to. We need to get you to a hundred. We need to. Yeah. We need to go through, because we're pretty much done. We got to go do that one last bit at the 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 thinger to finish out Shadow Moon Valley mm. at the Dracacorium, which are small little quests. But once that thing gets finished, we'll head on up to Talador, and that's where you can make the Mage Tower or the artillery thing. I'm probably gonna go with the Mage Tower. I don't know. The artillery one allows you to do an arterial strike. Artillery strike, sorry. Whereas the mage tower allows you to get the floating Wait. orb that kills things. Oh, I was thinking mage tower allowed for no. waste stones. No, this mage tower only allows you to teleport back to your garrison, which is not even that far. The flight point's like a minute. Okay. So, FYI. It's really, why do you pick these two things? Because you want the zone ability. And it's artillery strike, or do you want the orb floating above you? And you can artillery strike indoors, but you know about how to do orbital strikes indoors. I'm in the middle of a mine, click. I'm in the middle of an asteroid, and I'm fighting Breen. <laughs> Did my ship just shoot through the asteroid? Why am I not exposed to the vacuum of space? What is going on here? Yeah. I know all about that. <laughs> okay, so... As is Monday... Anyways... So, as is Fridays, I'm going to go jog here soon. It just started raining. Well, at least the pavement's wet. Um, and I just don't give a crap about Kelly right now. Uh, no, anyways. So, while I was dealing with, like, the view and whatnot, I soloed Dragon Soul 10. Um, yeah, that's not going to be a problem, especially if I take someone else with me just for the hell of it, in case someone wants their... 13? Spine of Deathwing will be a lot easier, especially if someone can just rock out on the other side. Then we don't have to worry about spinning him. Or we can control the... Uh... Anyways. So yeah, I wound, up I wound up soloing Spine. It took three or four tries. Once because I blinked off the edge. And I'm just like, oopsies! <laughs> like, boom! Oh no. <laughs> like, I completely knew what was going on at that point. So... I did not get either of the mounts. I'm getting two pieces of my tokens. <laughs> I don't care because currently transmog to do it, so obviously I've got it. Um, but yeah, so that's what's going on there. Um, had to post to Facebook that I did so because I know that pretty much my friends are having issues. Yeah. Also, I'm explaining to someone in the fleet about lifetime versus gold for Star Trek Online. <whistles> yeah, I had to type a paragraph out to that one. Anyways, so Friday, 11, 20, 37, 11, 37. I thought it was 23. So I'm going to get to recording because someone on Tumblr actually asked the question and I will answer it in my Friday video. It's what am I? It'll be the one take, so no editing, but I'm probably going to be explaining my ab exercises or things I'm doing that help benefit the abs and things that one can do to benefit the abs. I should take down the recycling. Look at all that recycling! Anyways, I will check you guys 
out. It's again arm or chest. And then what's going on? Aaron and I have a wow weekend. We need to get him to 100 and then get him some, uh, um, get him up there in item level. Because I'm not sure, because apparently Molten Core requires like 615. And I don't even have 615, I have 610, 605. I should probably go through my silver. Really should go through my silver. Anyways, um, probably gonna do that tonight. Like as soon as I get back from jogging and jog, then record video, I'll be exhausted. Ah, my life. So it's Saturday. It's 8.30 in the morning on the dot. And I have to drive to Vancouver. Because I found out, actually after I posted Friday's video, that there have been practices up in Vancouver, but apparently it was put out in an email, and again, I'm not getting the emails. Hopefully things, now I know times that will be made and done. I've been having anxiety all night and Aaron and I had just one horrible discussion after another and it wasn't helping my already pretty decent anxiety <clears throat> of like, hey, I wasn't, I didn't feel I was ready for this. I hadn't finished what I wanted to on training. And then on top of that, while I was out doing my jog yesterday, um, I had to stop in the middle of it and just break down crying. Not because of, of practice, but because I was so exhausted, as I said before, that all the feelings over the last week of just pure abandonment from, every, from all the people leaving the guild and hitting all their alts. And it just hit me and I was just, and I got in and I started talking with Jason over Facebook Messenger and I just, I'm so glad it wasn't actual voice because I was screaming at the phone and the voice and the speech detector wasn't even understanding me correctly anymore because I was wavering up and down like I am now. And then I have to go by my mom's house because she deserves to know what's been going on for the last two and a half months, money-wise. I'll see you guys up in Vancouver. Well, I got here. that way. I'm gonna show up, but I'm gonna play it by ear. I don't think I can physically perform right now because I still really hurt. But I'm gonna tell stills that. Kind of funny, there are five cars. Here. Okay, I'm heading over to my mom's house now. Let's be honest here, DJ did not do anything in the practice, but I stood around on the field and looked at the playbook. Talked. Feigned calf strain. Yep. Chicken fuck out. Oh god. Let's see if I can squeeze it over here. Something. Oh, Dad's waving to me. What's up, pups? What's up? Lens flare! Anyways, rainbow! Anyways, so, yeah, I'm heading home now. It's 2.45. Left Aaron home alone. Uh, you know, and it's nice because... Did I take a left? I should be able to here. <laughs> Anyways, I know he likes to be home alone, but I was kind of angsty texting him because of what happened at practice, but I was, I don't know. I just need to like keep reassuring myself and I feel that I'm lying to myself at times because as still said, well, I want the best on the field. And I'm like, Ugh. I hear that. And I know that I'm not the best, but the best can be a different meanings. The best can be the best skilled. Well, obviously I'm not the best skilled. The best attendance. Mm, pretty damn good attendance. Um, you know, the best, you know, there's some different bests. Um, anyways, so I'm going to be getting here on the freeway pretty soon and yeah. We have next weekend is off for the holiday. And uh, then we're back at the field, which I did not take video of. 
because I knew it was going to be raining and there was not going to be putting anywhere to get my camera. Uh, if I had like some sort of waterproof-esque backpack, I probably would have taken the camera with me, but no. Um, so yeah, maybe in two weeks, Aaron will come with me because I can bribe, bribe him by saying, hey, let's just go to your parents afterwards. Even though we just saw him like the weekend before at Thanksgiving. I don't know, we'll have to talk with him about that one. Red light! So, you guys can't see because the twee's in the way, but the bridge is up. Like, actually the bridge is up. I can't even see the bridge anymore, but. <clears throat> so now we're all like inching closer to the point being like, you know, bumper to bumper that if anyone comes in at like full, well, at this point, we're at a curve, but if we were in a straight line and saw, oh, there goes the four. Oh, God, now we gotta let a bus in. Anyways, I might be here for a little bit longer. So, yes, Aaron and I just got done eating. And delicious, so, delicious food. Well, we eat it, so it's delicious food. <laughs> like, obviously, I, I don't eat... To me, mushrooms would not be delicious. Unless I don't eat mushrooms. Missing out. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> but, so, we're going to try to cram him out to 95 at least. I did check. The 10th anniversary thing goes to, like, the 10th of January. Yeah. Like, it goes to like the actual football practices start up. So, yeah, you just have to get to a hundred and then get eye level six fifteen. There's apparently a pet that also comes out of there. Like you get the cor the molten corgi, and then you get the corehound mount for just getting the achievement. But then Ragnaros himself gets a chance to drop um, some pissy pet. It's it's a fire elemental, but it has like shoulder guards. Yeah, it's like mm. yeah, it's like car of the pit or something like that. Oh. Ever burning car of the pit? Or I don't know. It's in the pet journal. I looked it up. You just look up uh, Ragnaros. And so. <sighs> so. Garrison, Joshua, Garrison, Krista, War Spear. Eddie Garrison. Oh, Krista plays herd. Yeah. Or Spear is their storm shield. It's their base on Ashran. Uh, the Blood Maul, Blood Maul Slag Mine. Instant. Oh, okay. that's what this is. Yeah. The Blood Maul Slag Mines and what's the other one I need to do? I need. Oh, and I need to do. I need to do heroic Blood Maul Slag Mines and I need to do heroic train so I can finish out the other two go here get this kind of like the trial of the Naru yeah. go do this and that's what I'm doing for the ring I also have to do my Apexis crystals but once we hit 95 I'll let you like sort that out while I go run my Apexis crystal shit because that's going to be just mindlessly grindy yeah so I will throw out a question to the channel I guess hang on you're not blur I'll throw out a question to the channel um I have four, yeah, four characters that I can boost one of to 90, and I have no idea which one. Got a warrior, a rogue, a monk, and a horde priest. I mean, it would be nice. I, I suggest that you do his priest because one, it's a priest, but that'll make all three clothies he has. I mean, I don't even have that because warlocks. Huh. You're gonna get on. I'm cycling my missions. Right. Anyway, so that's what yeah. gets the question. He has, and they're all like sub-level 20, right? Yeah. None of those are over 15. His mage is 86, and that's silly to boost at four levels. Yeah. You know, like at level 100, I will just, I can run him through, I can run him through dungeons in Pandaria, like no shit. So, yeah. We're going to get him to 95. We're going to finish up Gorgrond and then maybe move to Talador. 
because um, once you open up the Talador outpost, you then can get your level two stuff. Happens. Huh? Yeah, yeah stuff happens. garrison stuff happens. So you can op you can buy your level two of like the Alchemy Lab or the Gym Boutique or whatever these things are called. Engineering supplies. I'm gonna try to save my stuff so that I can get my garrison three when it's time. See you guys here probably tomorrow is it's 8.51 right now, so we're probably going to keep playing the rest of the night. Why are you blurry? There. Good afternoon. Someone didn't put the camera on the charger and just realized that. It looks like it's nighttime. It's, it's not. It's just Dark. that level of cloudiness that comes from Yes. Or perhaps the Pacific Northwest. Not really. But, anyways, so apparently I didn't charge the phone, so it's not going with us for shopping. Because I turned it on and it was like red. Oops. Yeah, so now it's got a charge. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You think we can hit the next level today? At least probably, yeah. See if you can get to the end of the get to the Battle of Shatrak. Or something. That happened around 97? It happens at the end of Talador. Mm. So, I'm recording from the phone because why not? Um, we were getting Greek yogurt and this lady popped up at an, well, not necessarily nowhere, she obviously existed, but she was like, take it from a Greek, and then she pointed to the Tillamook one. And I'm like, I don't, I immediately thought, I don't think Tillamook's that great at making Greek yogurt, authentic Greek yogurt anyways. And I tried to tell her that the ones we get are significantly cheaper. She's like, but that doesn't matter, they suck. And I was just like, whatever. She goes, and I was like, well take it from a Greek, I know. I'm like, I don't even know if I'm Greek. She goes, that's probably why you're buying the bad stuff. And she walked away, and I was just like, just, and I was like, she's trying to be nice, and I'm like, no. No, she was trying to, whatever. She was being nice in that weird way Alyssa's mom is nice. You weren't around Alyssa's mom much. Oh, I was. Yeah. I was around her enough. Remember, you don't need much soups. Three days, right? All right, three days. So, well, four. Yeah, I got four. Okay. Now the camera's charged, we're home, and oh, right. I got a shirt! The stocking stuffers pre-Black Friday Day sales. <laughs> they uh, are going on, but we found out that we're like, oh god, we should get some socks! Because our socks just get washed the hell out of, I mean, we wear them out, and they're just white tube sock things. Happens to everyone. Happens to everyone. So we wait till Christmas, get ourselves like 10 pairs of socks for like stupid cheap. But apparently they're 25% off. So is most of the sportswear or collegiate wear is what they're calling it. Um, and oh, oh my God, this shirt is really fucking soft. And yeah, um, so it's 25% off. I got it. I actually wanted it a while back, but we were like really low on money. Um, but now that it's 25% off and we got a little bit of a cash infusion, there's no way I could really describe this shirt to people to get them to get it. So I just picked it up, but then we found out that I'm all over the place right now, that on Black Friday, like the morning from store open till store 1 p.m., was it? Yeah. That all socks are 50% off. As well as some other stuff. As well as some other stuff, but I'll run in there after I drop Aaron off at the Mac station or at work. Because who knows? Because we need to check to see if the West is even running on Black Friday. Because sometimes the buses and trains go on to a Saturday schedule or a holiday schedule for Black Friday, even though it's dumb and they should maintain like full usage so that it, but. Dude, we're gonna actually get where they're going. So people can get where they're going and like do shopping on, with like good systems. But then again, Chime, it's pretty good anyways. It's just the fact that like C-Tran, which is fail and barf in and of itself, and the West, which is a business commuter thing. But anyways, so it's a beaver shirt. It's Nike. 
Um, and uh, yeah, it goes well with my shorts that are Nike OSU. And anybody who's played football understands what that gesture means. I mean, you, you, you don't have to have played football to understand what it means. It's All you have to realize that is that even in cultures that have had no outside contact, when someone wins or does something awesome, they... No, that's usually a solidarity sort of thing. You know, usually it's a, it's a teammate thing. Raise your hats to the sky. Gotcha. Um, anyways, but yeah. Because usually the helmet, as, as you've seen, has the biggest logo on it. So when you've got a bunch of guys in one spot with one thing and, yeah, bouncing their helmets around. Anyways, so we're going to do a little bit of finishing up Talador, see what that's going to do. Then we're going to cook our pizza. We got a family size this time. And we put olives on it instead. Because we're just bouncing toppings around until we find one that's like ungodly or we just keep bouncing toppings around. <laughs> Where do you want the backup coffee? In the far corner. Okay. Current coffee, backup coffee, but we got a backup coffee just to make sure. Because oh. the current coffee is like two not, more pots left. Not to make sure, because it was cheap. Well, they're $6.99 versus the tag said $9.99, but I remember them also going upwards to like $11.50 or $11.99. And I was a little bit walked out yesterday, the fact that uh, Dad was like, oh, I can't make any coffee. Oh, oh, God damn it. And then he forgot about being angry. That's the great thing about having his dementia. He gets really riled up and angry really fast, and then he forgets about it in two minutes. And he's not angry anymore. But I was like, yeah, Mom, I think Mom went to the store because we have no coffee. So Mom came back in. I was like, so you went to the store to go get coffee? And she's like, what? No. I'm like, because we're out. And she like opens up the cupboard, and there's like four tubs, three or four tubs of coffee up there. I'm like, why is it up there? She goes, it doesn't fit anywhere else. Why do you have four? Because they keep going on sale. I'm like, and my brain went, I want your money, life. Literally, she can, She at the rate she makes coffee, she won't run out of coffee for a month. Only a month? Only a month. She makes about two pots a day or more. Imagine if you drank as much coffee as I did. Melon. And dad will just continuously make coffee because he's forgotten whether or not. So sometimes he'll have like a pot and a half to himself. Because there's no coffee, so he'll make more. Yep. But anyways, so yeah, we're going to get down onto, wow. I remember to pick up shampoo because I remember we were low because when I tried to, when I showered myself I, last, I was like, uh-oh. Yeah, there, there's enough for one more. Yeah, there's enough for one more, so. It just, yeah. if I used it, you wouldn't have had stuff for your shampoo. So I was like, I don't need to like pamper my hair. So I just washed it with my Axe body wash. Catch you guys here in a couple hours. So the American Music Awards are on tonight. So no once upon a time and I forgot about that. So I'm watching, can you focus? Whenever Desperate Housewives. Aaron's cycling his characters again. This is title. Oh. 28. Sometimes, then you gotta let them sit for a little while. Why? Be well, not the garrison. Your 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 box accrues over a certain amount of time, as I said. But like your things only hit like once every four hours. Yeah. So unless you put a worker on them, then I think it's every three. Uh, it's every three, and they have a chance to double. Yeah. But that's why I had to put, I wanted to put the enchanting in this. Anyways. <clears throat> mm. Back to Jasper House, I shall see you guys in the morning. Just scared all the birds. We were on her little porch, feeding. <laughs> I came down and hit the last step and my keys dug a little bit and like six birds just went <laughs> What the hell? <coughs> Did we? Did we? About the Battle of Shatrath. Um, I don't think we did, but holy crap. It's freaking awesome. But also, like, 
sad is for reasons. If you've seen it, you know why. Um, but yeah, Urel is awesome. Just absolutely freaking awesome. Frog. Aaron like was stumbling over his words because he saw this weird. I'm like, I'm filming him, looking around, being like, is that frog throwing his voice? <laughs> well, then he shut up when we were right there, and I couldn't get him on film. Yeah. Good lord, I can hear you back up here. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Probably not. I didn't hear it. Um. Anyway. Um. I'm loving the way they do scenarios. Just kind of in the middle of what you're doing. Yeah. It feels like a very, I guess it's a natural evolution of the scenario system, but I think it's what they wanted to do in the first place. Yeah, it's probably the fact that pe they, that they wanted scenarios to be kind of side little storyline cool things, but they didn't become that. Yeah. And it was Theramore that Theramore screwed them up on that. If Theramore would have went in and been that little type of scenario thing where you could go in with your group, you you know, you all meet at the dock, and then as you're, you get on the boat, you go, or you get teleported because the boat's not running anymore, and you just show up in Theramore, no special load screen or anything, you just use the Kalimdor thing, you load up, and it says objective one. That would have gotten people a little bit more involved. Yeah. <laughs> because... Even if you were in a scenario, you know, you didn't realize, because you basically ran, because as it is, it's seamless transitions, because you just run, 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 up to, like, the Iron Star in Battle of Shatrath. You jump in the Iron Star, and it's like, objective one. You didn't even change map. Yeah. So. It just triggered. It, it, it makes the scenario seem more in the world. Arm's getting tired. Well, of course, I'm also holding it in a really... That poor yeah. Statue of Liberty. Max must be really early or something. It's kind of sitting there for a while. Yeah. And I didn't hear any, usually an, an announcement of like, there's several trains ahead of us, we're gonna be here for a while. You'd hear, because oh, they have outside speakers. It happens when they pull in, though. I still would have heard it. I'm... True. I've heard it before, when I've been on my way up here. Are you slowly moving? Oh, they just inch forward. Oh boy. So, your lazy weekend considering you had kind of a lazy weekend. It was kind of awesome. You were a, a lot. I, I didn't do a whole lot. I know. You, you were home a lot by yourself yeah. Saturday. I was. Because um, I left at 8 and wasn't home till like 4. I played around on WoW for a while. I, um... Whatever. You know, it's quite a train, but it's still kind of loud. I... Um, I started working on a coding project. What? No, I, I was bending my knees. Oh, okay. Sorry. Started working on a coding project for uh, basically workout tracker. Got just a layout thing figured out so far, but the rest of the back end stuff's not going to be too hard. Didn't do a whole lot. Slept a lot. It felt really good. That's really it. Okay. What the hell? Did he break down? I think he's checking someone on his phone. Or what I'm saying, no, I mean, there's oh. nobody else there, but there's kind of a weird Wi-Fi here. Mm. Alyssa, when we were coming by, check, she's like, there's a Wi-Fi here. And I'm like, this Wi-Fi ain't good. It's like Nike's Wi-Fi or something. Uh -huh. They may have a tower somewhere, a small tower that you can keep your Wi-Fi going while you're on the track. Yeah. Um, and it would probably be GPS enabled. That's what I'm guessing. Because my phone's always thinking that there's a, that I can get a Wi-Fi in there, but I tell it not to. I'm told it to cancel it off because you're checking now. No. Oh, your phone didn't. Oh. I it's why my alarm's taking you off. I fell asleep before I plugged it in. Okay. Well, my alarms went off. So anyway, you panicked me actually when you said my alarms have all gone off. Get up. I was like, oh god. It's after the time his alarms go off. I don't actually know when his alarms go off, but it's after that. And I don't know how much after. Oh, God. Okay, your train's coming, but this one's engaging because I can hear the tracks, but I came over this way. I can see the light. See you guys back at home. Yeah. 
I'll try to see if I can get that frog on the way back if I can walk quiet enough. Okay, that's that for the weekend. So tomorrow, Trek Tuesday, I will be going over the the, the Voyager variant for Star Trek Online. Um, so I'm going to be recording that here probably after I get done with this heroic and shower and be human. Huh. So anyways, uh, yeah, chat with you guys tomorrow, Wednesday, be vlog day. Um, I'll probably give an update on my fitness stuff as football season started up. Kind of. Um, I'd rather stay in top shape for that than other things. We can discuss that um, if, if it's pertinent to people. Anyways, um, be kept, keep an eye out on my Tumblr. There may be questions that get asked, like last week. I asked a question. Someone answered it. I did a video about it. This literally happens, folks. <laughs> I ask a question, you give an answer or whatnot, and I make a video about it, especially if it's long enough to be a video. But anyways, so yeah, catch you tomorrow.